Well, I am so excited to see you, Amy, and to have everybody else on for this opportunity for us to share about what Amy's doing through um, her business launch with Health Made Simple. So thank you. And then um, at the end, what I'll do is unmute everybody so we can have a time of question and answers if there's anything that you would like to know more about. So what I'm going to do is share my screen so you can see some images because I feel like that can be helpful um, as we're relaying the story. And then those of you who are joining us via phone and can't see this, what we'll do is have this as a recording also, so Amy can send it back to you later on, and then that way you'll be able to um, take a look at the images as well. So this is a time to share about our community health made simple and really to look at some of the solutions that we have for health and healthy living. So as we are going through um, this time, what I wanted to share is we have this incredible community called Health Made Simple. We're comprised of doctors and dietitians and nutritionists, um, lawyers even. Um, we've got athletic trainers. We've got dancers. Um, a lot of people who are really mission-minded and have a desire to help others help themselves, help their families, and help others in their sphere of influence. So that also includes um, educators. And so you can see from here, there's quite an array of individuals. So here's beautiful Amy. We're so excited that she's joining our mission and really thrilled that she's going to be a reference point for so many of you and people that you know to be able to um, point us back um, towards this mission of healthy um, living. So this is an image of my family. I am a mom of three adult married children and I'm just really thrilled. I just sharing with Amy right now, it happens to be where everybody is back in the home area. We've got a son and a wife who are there in the middle that have been away um, in Wales for the last couple of years. So they're home now. And then our daughter, the one in the red, is moving with her husband over to Houston. So it's just a transitional time. But what I can say is we are a happy family and we are a healthy family because we are applying so many of these principles that we share with Health Made Simple. So as we're going through this time, what I'd really love for you to do is just think about your own ideas about health and wellness and your definition of that and also what are your own goals for your life and what are your goals for the people that you may have responsibility over if it's a family or opportunity to share all of this um, incredible information to aspire others so why good nutrition? Obviously, this is not a really great plate full of things that are very nutritionally dense. However, this looks pretty typical for some of the food that we are supplying in the Western diet. So that's called the standard American diet, but that acronym is SAD, SAD. So mm -hmm. it really is a sad American diet that we are eating and um, has just become more of the common understanding of how do we feed and fuel ourselves. Um, it used to be some time ago, way back in the days, we would have family dinners and that really is not necessarily always the case today. People live really busy lives, they're eating on the go and not sitting down to um, a wholesome time of just being a family and being together and eating together. Um, but we are seeing that there's this revolution happening that people are taking healthy back and really want to be more responsible for nourishing themselves well and taking charge of what are they eating. And so you'll see here some um, beautiful images of people who are eating whole food. And so gonna share a bit more about that as we go along. Um, but this tends to be really the tendency, right? That we are eating really quickly on the go, um, fast food market, that has not declined it out at all. It's really continuing to grow because people's lives are getting busier and they want the quick fix. So we wanna share some quick fixes for you, but also um, ones that are very good, um, good choices for you to be able to make. What we are seeing now is a part of the concerns in the Western diet is that our food quality is decreasing. 
the last study I saw show that there were over 9,000 food additives that are being put in our food supply. And it's just something if we're not aware of it, we aren't understanding that so much of what we eat is more like a food-like substance and not really actually food itself. So all these preservatives, different flavor enhancers, emulsifiers, synthetic vitamins, and I'm gonna share a little bit about that in a bit, um, genetic modifications, our food has less nutrients. There was a study started back in the 1950s and it culminated right around year 2000. And what it showed was if you had a serving of broccoli and you t had it tested over that 50 year span of time, what they saw was if you wanted to eat the same amount of nutrients in a serving of broccoli, you had to eat four times the amount of broccoli today. And that's just because of the genetic modification, us not rotating our soils, um, just a lot of contaminants and things like that that are affecting the nutrient density that used to be in our foods. Um, more pesticides, trans fat, artificial colors, growth hormones. So I'm not going to get into all that and we can send some information to you, but basically we just aren't eating clean as much as we used to, like when our grandparents used to have gardens and we could just eat directly from the earth. So again, as we're going through this, I want you to think about how are you taking care of you and when we're looking at our principles of health through Health Made Simple we look at the pillars of health. And a part of those pillars involve nutrition and eating real food, but also we advocate getting your body moving at least six times, five times a week for 30 minutes a day and some kind of activity where your heart rate is raising and you are really seeing that you've got um, you know, your blood moving through your body. And that just helps to get off of our um, tendency to have a more sedentary lives and get our bodies moving and activated. Um, drinking water. Um, so we know that there is an importance there to hydrate our bodies because the greatest percentage of our body is water. And so there's some different tactics and how to do that, but usually water is the best. And often we will encourage people to squeeze a little bit of citrus, like lemon or lime in the water to help it be more absorbed in your system. And then sleeping seven to hours, seven to nine hours a night. And I know for some people, I just think you know, that's really, really hard to do, but our body needs time to repair. And so when we are allowing our body to have repair time, then we're able to see that we've got the energy that we need and our body is feeling much better. So those are some of the principles and we can send you some workshops and information more about those, but we're mainly going to be talking about nutrition. And what we're finding is this whole trend now towards plant-based nutrition. So basically that just is looking at the cultures and societies that predominantly eat more plants in their diet. And it's this 80-20 um, ratio, at least 80% of their diet is coming from plants and 20% from an animal source, then we're seeing little bit of disease and a little um, percentages of any kind of illnesses and different types of hypertension and things like that. But once we start to cross over that mark of having more than 20% of our diet coming from a plant, I mean, from an animal source, then that's when we're seeing an increase in some of these problematic um, diseases and illnesses that are really running rampant. And so we just advocate plant-based really is predominantly 100% plants, but we wanna help you learn how to at least get some more plants in your diet. And so this slide just shows this um, look at on the end here with the green where the numbers are high, that's the percentage of calories coming from unrefined plant food. And so that shows that there's a high percentage being consumed in some cultures. And then the red um, pillars, what they're showing is the percentage of deaths from heart disease and cancer. And so if you can see, it's just this um, in um, proportionate, disproportionate um, angle where the higher rates of illnesses and sickness and disease 
have really little consumption of plant foods. But on the opposite end of the spectrum is the higher percentage of plant foods consumed shows very little illness and disease and cancers in those cultures. So this is something that we've got a lot of studies that are being conducted. And we know through our history that there's a lot of um, things that already back that up in some of our Asian cultures. And we're just now getting caught up with some of that as we're looking and investigating why has some um, society society's been more um, healthy and less disease and illness. So this um, doctor, Bill Sears, I really like him a lot for so many reasons. He's got um, quite a few books, um, but he also has um, resources online to share about nutrition for families. Um, but he's definitely one of America's favorite doctors. But his um, quote is that 75% of all chronic disease is preventable. So basically, we're seeing that associated with um, our food supply. If we can really curb some of those foods that we're eating that are processed and consume more whole foods, that 75% really goes drastically down. Um, another doctor, David Katz, he notes that this may be the first generation of children to have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. And that's really, really shocking because we want to live long lives and we want our children to live long lives. But more than ever before, we're seeing onset childhood diabetes, other illnesses, um, the growth of, and development of children's hospitals around the nation. Um, it just is something that we're having to supply a remedy for all this illness by creating hospitals, but really the, the remedy is coming from um, some really simple solutions that we're going to keep sharing with you. Um, so here's what we really like to share is let's help our um, population of people who are focused more on health and want to get um, some tips is let's do some food preparation. Um, so it's at the front end of your week. You can learn how to, or on the weekend, learn how to chop up some fruits and veggies, and then you can have those ready and raw, or you can roast them like this. And so these are roasted veggies that um, the ones over on the one side that look like little mini BLT, that isn't actually bacon. It's um, a seasoned carrot that's been roasted that has a really yummy um, paprika, smoked paprika to make it taste like bacon. Um, so there's solutions that you don't have to give up all of the flavors for the um, sacrifice of um, you know, not eating some of the foods that you might have been accustomed to. So chopping up veggies, roasting and planning ahead that way. Um, there's ways to make really yummy bowls. I do a lot of these as well as um, salads and um, other kinds of things with our ancient grains. This is with quinoa or brown rice or wild rice. Um, I always keep um, a veggie broth, organic veggie broth on as well um, at my home. And then that way I have access to be able to um, get you know, a quick soup that we can make um, for, you know, uh, just putting in all these wonderful ingredients. And this is another fun thing it's called a salad in a jar. And the salad in a jar is um, a way to make some food that will last for a few days in the fridge. You can pack them and take them to lunch for your lunch if you go away for work. Um, but it's also a really great way to look at how can I get these good nutrients um, and know that in advance, I'm really prepared. So when it comes time in the afternoon and I want to have lunch or in the evening, you've already made some preparation. So you're not having the tendency to run off to, the, um, to a fast food remedy. Um, and then these little grazing trays, those are really awesome to have around um, home to um, get things out visible. And if things are visible, then often people are, have a more tendency to be able to snack and graze on them. So if we don't put the candy out on the counter and we put something out like this that is really gorgeous and colorful, um, we tend to, to munch on it a bit more. Um, and then these are nutrition balls. 
So basically we take a whole grain and then usually a nut butter of some sort. I know people have nut allergies, so you could use a sunflower um, nut butter. And then you can use all kinds of different things, dates to sweeten them. You can add dried fruit as well. And um, we use a plant-based powdered mix that is 100% protein um, that's coming from a plant-based source. And I'll share more about that as well. So those are great things. You can pack them um, to go as a snack, or you can make a bunch ahead of time, throw them in the freezer. And from that, you're able just to take a cluster out and um, take them on the go. So just a really great plant-based protein um, concentrated nutrient form. So um, Amy, working with us now with Health Made Simple, with all these other professionals, we have this inspiration to partner with quite a few different organizations, and our aim is to inspire healthy living around the world. And so with our work that we're doing with Healthy Hands Cooking, or the U.S. Performance Center, um, the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, the St. Jude Hospital, where the main sponsor of the St. Jude's Run, a marathon. We also have a partnership with the Juice Plus Company. And we really love this one because of the real practical solutions. So you'll see here that there's some um, plant sources that I'd love to share. Um, this is one of them. And the reason I love this so much is because it's a way to get all of these nutrients in your body that are saturated with plants. So this right here, the red and the green and the purple, basically there's 10 different plants in each one of those canisters. And what the company has devised is this way to vine ripe pick and then they freeze, flash freeze dry the whole orange or the whole apple the whole um, peel, just every part. And then what they do is they, at a cold temperature, do a um, processing where they are then extracting out the liquid and um, what's remaining is the powder. So a produce powder. So it's a way to get a concentration of food. It's real food, it comes with a label and to be able to get a, the saturation of all these colors in your body. So the reason why that is so important is what we're seeing with these different nutrients is that basically you're getting all the colors of the rainbow. And why that is so important is how the food has been created is that every color has a different response in our body. So our green foods, plant foods that we eat, they are the things that cause um, de detoxification in our body. They help because they've got um, calcium to build strong bones. Our red foods, those have some factors that help to, um, you know, to strengthen our blood and blood supply. And so the r red and green have jobs, but so does the purple and the orange and the white. So all of these colors do a different job. And if we're not getting that variety in our diet every day, then we're missing that opportunity for our body to have those amazing nutrients um, that we need. So it also comes not only just in the powders, it comes in the chewables as well. And so with those chewables, basically we um, love them and that's what my husband really enjoys. He um, eats the chewables down kind of like candy. And now we've got um, some of our other kids that are really enjoying them as well. So our big kids and our little kids. Um, so with the, um, these nutrients, it's a really great way to get all of these um, different colors in, but in a really tasty, you know, a gummy chewable form. All right, so here, and Amy, I'm gonna, I just made you a host, so you could go on, and I think there's somebody that's not um, muted that I'm hearing some background. So if you wanna take care of that, I think you'll be able to do that. Interesting, right, I don't so. see that, it, okay. Okay, all right, that's no problem. Um, so here we go. This is why we are advocating for all of these colors in your diet and what not only is science showing, but the research is showing it as well. So with these particular solutions that we have through the Juice Plus partnership that we have, what it's showing is these studies are revealing when you're getting all of these colors in your diet through these plant powders, these 
produce powders. It's helping your cardiovascular wellness. It supports a very strong immune system. It improves your gum health, reduces oxidative stress in the body. It helps to reduce inflammation in the body, protects your DNA and causes you to have healthier skin and some other really wonderful um, results. So with this, we're seeing that a part of the concern in our American diet is that our bodies are inflamed. And because of that, that's the result of um, this inflammation is causing all these diseases and illnesses and sicknesses. Really, it's because our bodies are inflamed. So when we're saturating our body with plants, it really helps to reduce that inflammation. And then all of these other um, um, testimonies that are coming from people sharing this is really beneficial because I've been able to help a lot of people, but it's also really proven through the research, which is, I think, um, for me, it helps to really validate. So these different universities, and we can send you links for you to take a look at this research yourself. Um, but again, it's showing that the health that it's causing in your gut, it's called your microbiome, what's happening in your DNA, turning on the good DNA in your body, turning off the bad DNA, that's called epigenetics. Um, so it's really amazing what's happening when we're getting the saturation of all these different colors in our diet. Um, we also advocate not only just those nutrients coming from those plant powders, but we have these omegas as well. And there's been more education coming out about the importance of omegas and mainly that's been because of our decline in a lot of our mental health conditions we're seeing more than ever before an uprise and increase of mental health concerns throughout America and we know that when we're consuming our omegas the omegas can help to improve our health helps to fight depression aids in our eyesight promotes brain health improves the risk of cancer and heart disease um, can reduce symptoms of ADHD exist, ex, um, sorry assist in fighting inflammation can reduce fat in our liver can help improve our bone and joint health and aids in our skin and hair and nails and that's because the omegas are concentrated with these good nutrients. And so what we advocate is let's get our omegas from a plant-based source. What we're seeing is the fish omegas are often they're rancid or they um, have some kind of contaminants or mercury um, poisoning. And so we just bypass the fish and go directly to the algae where the fish gets the omegas anyway. And so it's another way to get really wonderful nutrients in your body that's a concentration from a plant-based source, as well as um, you know the plant powders we just spoke about. And another one of the education tools that we share is the importance of, yes, some meal preparation. And we love advocating for smoothies. We feel like if we can get a smoothie in everybody's body every day, we can pack in a minimum of 20 different plants in their diet. And so we do this through um, making some really wonderful smoothies and we can send you a smoothie um, booklet as well via email so you can have that and have all these different yummy recipes um, but with this we advocate for let's get the nutrients in your body and let's get a concentration again from a plant-based form so I've got mine right here I drank my smoothie this morning and today I put in a frozen um, mixed organic berry mixture that had um, four different berries in it and then I threw in some spinach and some beet as well. And then I used a nut base um, milk. And so the one I have is a non-GMO, a clean unsweetened um, almond milk. You can do it with water or you could do it with um, a rice milk or a coconut milk or some other form that is coming again from this plant-based source to really up the amount of plants that are in your diet. And then I use our complete drink mix, which is um, all non-GMO. It's low fat, low sugar, low glycemic, gluten-free. It's vegan. It's like I said, non-GMO. So it's a plant source of protein. And why we're concerned about the 
protein mixes that are out there, predominantly there are a lot that are coming from um, an animal source that is really able to increase the inflammation in your body. And that's the very thing that we're wanting to do is decrease inflammation in our body. So we want our um, base to be more, again, from a natural plant source. Um, so ours is chickpeas and soy, um, peas and rice. And I know that there can be some concerns about soy. So to kind of demystify that, basically soy is not bad. If you look at our Asian cultures, um, they have existed on a soy foundation base with um, receiving their protein for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And they haven't seen complications because it's really a very good source. It's just when the soy has been modified, genetically modified, and not coming from a clean source, then that's where some problems can occur in soy, just like it can in any other genetic modification. So our soy is completely clean and it's water washed. And so it's a really amazing source for getting some of our proteins that are needed in our bodies. Um, it's also a fiber blend. So there's also rice bran and apple fiber in this complete shake mix. And it's made of these ancient grains. And so basically it's a way again to saturate your body with more plants. And so that scale that we looked at a little bit ago, that the one where the, um, the or, um, company, I'm sorry, the countries that are consuming more plants have the least amount of illness and disease and sickness. And so this is one of our solutions that we provide. So 45 whole foods, um, they are um, with a food label, which really is quite important because if you would do a Google search and look at supplement labels and what the regulations are in America, there are zero in America regulations for anything that's a supplement. Anybody could go and put a label on a container and put content inside and have a supplement label and there's no government oversight until the consumer makes a purchase. But anybody can create something. So it's very different than the regulation that we have with our labels that are actually a food label. And so that's really important to consider. Um, so not only with the, um, our Juice Plus, is it have, does it have a food label? It's packed with phytonutrients, so plant foods, which we need, again, non-GMO, dairy-free, gluten-free, um, NSF certification. And so again, why that is so important is we're looking at the quality and quality control. And so if you have something that has a supplement label on it, it won't have that um, oversight of needing to have an outside third party that is actually attesting to what it says is on the label is actually what's in the content in the canister. And then clinical research. We've got lots of studies that I just showed you a moment ago that have been published looking at the importance of getting all of these incredible nutrients from this, these resources that we offer. So more than half of the world um, now lives in urban areas and we're seeing that it's important, that farming is really important. Um, and we're also seeing that because of this shift in trends and moving, that we have the opportunity to help people to be a little bit more in control of, over some of the foods that they're growing. Um, I have two of these tower gardens and they're just a lot of fun. Um, we also have these urban gardens, which you can see here in this image where we we are um, taking some properties that have been more desolate and abandoned and then turning them over into urban gardens. But you also can have one of these, um, you don't have to leave in, live in an urban setting um, to own one. You can have it on your back porch, in your yard, but it's all aeroponic. And basically um, what we're seeing is that the kids that are consuming these nutrients and learning about it, they're eating five more times the amount of fruits and veggies than they normally would just because they're a part of the process. So it's a really great education tool. And that's what this company is advocating for. Let's teach our children at a young age the importance of good nutrition. 
And so um, it's really, like, again, it's a really fun way to grow. Um, I have quite a few herbs on mine, and I love that because I'll just go out and snip, um, like, kale, actually, that I grow, or Swiss chard, and I throw that in my blender to to add that to my smoothie, or I just snip the different herbs as I'm preparing and roasting food and cooking and then add that. And it just has this gratification um, because some of us might not have the property where we can grow um, a larger garden. And this is just a way for a solution to get um, access to um um, you know, to growing. And then there's something fun that uh, they created a couple years ago, which are these LED grow lights. And so I have friends that have these gardens that grow all year round, but they live up in um, Michigan and some of the, you know, northern um, New York state and live in these colder climates, but they have their gardens inside and they grow all year round. So it's a fun way to, um, to have that green thumb, um, even in the winter months. So with this company, um, Health Made Simple, and our partnership with the Juice Plus company, we don't offer a lot of solutions, just some main ones that will help people get more good nutrition in their body. Um, we do believe the importance of, um, again, the food label as opposed to a supplement label um, to understand the importance of Anything that you're consuming, does it have published research behind it if you're supplementing your diet in any way? And then also looking at um, the value of education. And so with Health Made Simple, we partner with, like I said, the Juice Plus company. And one division is the Healthy Living Revolution, where we have lots of incredible resources that we will send the link to you. And we'd love for you to share this information to other people and bring them back to Amy so Amy can help be a part of that conduit to educate them. With the Health Made um, Simple Healthy Living, Healthy Living Revolution Division, like I said, we have these different wonderful cookbooks. Um, we also have um, this in-home fitness exercise series that you can click on and see a lot of great new exercises and ways to participate. If you can't get out to the gym that day or it's raining, you can't get out and walk and you want to um, be home and still be physically active. Um, we also have the webinar series, which is really incredible. That's all backed by research, doctors and nurses that are sharing these um, wonderful solutions towards very clearly like topical um, concerns. Maybe it's diabetes or fertility, um, other areas that's looking at heart health or how to reduce inflammation in our body. And so this whole webinar series has a lot of um, incredible information that is all free and online. And um, the other area that we are so proud of in the work we're doing is this Healthy Starts for Families. And I'm going to let Amy share in just a moment about that, how she has found this opportunity for her family and the benefit. But basically what we do is when a parent or a guardian, an adult places an order of the capsules or the gummies, then their child or a child they sponsor can have the nutrients for up to four years when the child is age four up through college. And so we took advantage of that. Like I said, my children are adults and married now, but when our kids were in college, we took advantage of that opportunity to have our kids get these wonderful free nutrients. So Amy, why don't you share a bit about um, your experience with Health Made Simple and um, in particular, um, just our, our Juice Plus solutions. Okay. Yeah, thanks for all that, Cynthia. Um, yeah, so I, people who know me know that I had to stop eating sugar and white flour a long time ago when I was in my twenties, um, just, they were addictive to me. And so, um, for a long time I had really, I, I pretty much had good health because I haven't been able to eat a lot of those things that, that, um, cause problems. But when I got close to 50, I started having several irritating physical things. My, I started getting rosacea, um, on my face and then, um, I don't know if it's hormonal, but just dry flaky skin around my ears. And I had some in wounds that wouldn't heal. And so I started just looking for more help um, in lots of ways. I'm always looking to see what, 
what, um, what would be helpful. And at that time, Cynthia reached out to me and she shared about Juice Plus. And I had two other good friends who were also really whole foods people who took Juice Plus. So I was open. Um, I was a little bit resistant because I grew up um, really with this idea that your nutrition should come from food and not from pills. And um, I think my mom drilled that into me. And so the fact that they were a pill was like, mm. but um, Cynthia shared what she did earlier, which is saying that it's, it, it's, it's a whole food. It's not like um, something else where they'd extracted a nutrient. It's, it's, she told you how that they're made. So because of that, I decided, well, I'll just try it. Um, I was also just reading about how much adding vegetables, fruits and vegetables to your diet makes a difference. Even people, I think Cynthia, you told me this, that they've done studies on athletes that up to eight, nine servings, people, their performance is still improving. So like I would have thought, I have this down. I eat at least five fruits and vegetables a day. So that's a perfect diet. But I, when I started realizing that you, you could use more and it helps you, I was, I, um, was open to, wanted to try that. So I tried it and, um, and then I also put my son on it because of the children's health study. And um, so we've been taking it for a year. And um, what I have noticed at the end of this year, I actually, my rosacea is cleared up. The scaly skin that I've had behind my ears and around there has cleared up and, um, and some wounds started to heal. So I also did other things. So I'm not, you know, the cause and effect is, I can't say one thing did it, but what has really stood out to me, I think that's been significant, is the cascade effect that making these changes has had for our, for my boys, actually, um, in addition to me. So I have always talked to my kids about eating healthy. I've always modeled it. I have not been great about making them eat healthy because um, I have taken the path of least resistance with them many times, but I always nagged them, you know, that's going to be hard on you. That's diabetes for breakfast. But it, they just look at me like, they've always looked at me like, whatever. Um, but in the last year, all three of my boys, and so all three of them have taken um, Juice Plus, all three of them have started on their own making changes to eat healthier. So one of them has gone off dairy completely and seen some significant differences from that. Um, Two of them have gone off sugar for a season. They know that's something they can do. Another one went off dairy for a season. All of them are eating significantly less junk food. And so um, I think I had heard early on with Juice Plus that they say that kids who take these capsules also tend to eat more fruits and vegetables. And again, I was a little skeptical because just because something happens at the same time doesn't mean it causes it. But because for years I've talked about this with my boys, and only in the last year have they actually made changes and wanted to and kind of started to notice that what they eat affects how they feel and how they look. And not none of them are trying to lose weight. It's more about muscle tone and skin, um, clarity of skin. All of them have started making that. So I have a couple interpretations. One is that just getting some getting that variety in them that our body kind of craves what we eat. And so I think that they've begun to crave some things that are, are better for them. And then I think there's the intangible of they have made, they've taken action to do something to take care of themselves. And I think health just begets health. It's there's something that happens when we invest in it that we become willing to do it more. So I'm really grateful for that. And I feel like it's just an easy start. <laughs> that's what it's been for my kids. Like to say, can you eat this bowl of kale for my boys? That's really a tough sell. My oldest one will do it now, but, um, but to say, could you just hey, take these four pills, just pop that, but they're not pills. They're actually dried fruits and veggies. Has, it has been an easy start to get them on the road to that. Um, and then the last thing that I've just appreciated is this has been a year I've had to travel a lot. Um, I had some real family heartache about a year and a half ago. And so I've traveled more to be with family and um, to know that I have something very easy that I can take with me that at least gets my day off to a good start. And I find if I eat well for breakfast, I am so much more likely to eat well for lunch and then for dinner. So that's, mm -hmm. um, that's kind of my story. That's beautiful, Amy. Thank you so much for sharing. And I can share the same quickly for me when I started consuming our solutions four years ago, I had a recessed area on the left part of my jaw that the roots of my teeth were exposed. And um, what started happening within a couple of months, my gums grew back and I wasn't having that 
pain to sensitivity to hot and cold. And I started chewing on that side of my mouth again and didn't really put it together until I looked at the research to look at, oh, wow, there's four different published research studies looking at what happens to gum health just because of saturating the body with all these nutrients. Um, other thing for me was seasonal allergies. In the spring, I usually get um, right around April, um, just you know, runny eyes and dripping nose and coffee aching, just feeling almost like flu symptoms for me. And over the last four springs, I've had zero effects. Mm -hmm. So I have been healing on the cellular level to allow my body to be more fortified to fight that um, and combat those things. Um, but I've got lots of testimonies. I mean, again, personally, of having more energy and more clarity of thought and just feeling better at 56 than I have felt in years prior. Um, but then in my own family, hearing some of the stories, but countless people now that I've been able to share and help them. So what Amy was talking about with the kids, um, there's something that happens in our bodies for adults as well. It's called metabolic programming. So when you consume good things, your body starts to crave and desire more good things. And so we have seen that happen not only in families that we've been able to help, but in this family um, health study, the Healthy Starts for Family, we now show that kids are getting sick less often. They're visiting the doctors less frequently. They're missing less days of school. They're craving more fruits and vegetables. They're eating less junk food and overall having um, improved health. And so that has been shared now with over 3 million families are a part of this Healthy Starts for Family. So we just Think it's an incredible deal two for one um, get a parent or guardian guardian on board and um, your child gets it for free um, so again when you are looking at some solutions for yourself we really encourage you to maybe even just start thinking in the mindset of taking one simple step forward so one simple change maybe to start eating more fruits and veggies yourself or drinking more water choosing to sleep more and stress less, exercising more. So those are one, one ways that you can start implementing um, one simple change. Um, another way that we really encourage people is through what's called the Shred 10 um, program, where it basically is helping to detoxify your body and restart you to set some good habits. And so with that, it's a 10 day commitment that you make and we can send more information to you about that. But we've got online support, um, their support via even texting, if that's how you would like to be encouraged. Um, but there's just this, you know, information that comes through this community that can be on um, line with one another and on point with each other to help advocate for um, healthy living. And it comes with free online cookbooks and other information that really are these great resources. So with Health Made Simple, again, we're just advocating eat real food. And we do believe the um, supplementation that you choose really does make a difference. And to advocate for let's get it from a whole food source and to fill that gap, because if you're not eating that seven to 13 servings, that's recommended um, for your body really to um, continue to repair and function well, then you probably, probably are missing out on how your body really can optimally perform. And so we invite you to join, join us in this, um, these solutions and join us in our mission and to share our resources. And we're just so thankful again, Amy, that you're a part of the community and what we're doing with Health Made Simple and really want to encourage others that you can be a part of what we're doing. We're looking to grow our community. We're looking for others to link arms with us and to help share this information because it's the education that brings transformation and that is going to change people's lives and often change their ability to really fully live out this calling that they have and not have their calling cut short because their body is ill or sick or not able to have enough energy to function um, as it possibly could. So again, we've got all these different resources and we'd love for you to come and join us and um, be a part of this healthy living revolution. So I just wanna say thank you for taking this time and I can um, take any questions that you might have 
And again, we will be happy to pass along these resources to you and to share um, in these you know, great opportunities to learn and gain um, greater education. So thank you. Thanks, Sophia. You're welcome. So let's come out of here.